Hello, my name is Danny, and today I'm going to tell you about the process to apply for an American tourist visa. 48% of Salvadorians who apply for a tourist visa receive approval. Would you like to be part of that 48%? Traveling to the United States is the dream of many Salvadorians. Surely, you have already thought what it feels like to be in the United States, or maybe you have already tried and have not been able. In any way, this information interests you. The North American Tourist Visa is a document that allows you to travel legally to the United States. To obtain it, you must first fill out the online form, pay for your request, get the necessary documentation and attend to your interview. When I was a child, my mother and I applied for a residence visa. Unfortunately, it wasn't granted to us. Now that I have the opportunity, I decide to investigate this process further. Okay, that's right. We all want a tourist visa, because it sounds great. But do we know what an American tourist visa really is? Let's start with the basics. The United States and El Salvador have a close diplomatic and economic relationship. Some of the benefits of these relationships are import, export, the TPS for the Salvadorians in the United States, and of course, tourism. Salvadorians who wish to take a tourist trip to the United States must apply for a permit called visa. There are about 21 types of visas. Here I show you the main category. It refers to the type of visa that allows the person to live for a time or permanently in the United States. Here we have work visa and residence visa. This type of visa allows the person to stay for a short period of time. In here we have the study visa and the tourist visa. The tourist visa is granted to those people who, for medical reasons, must make a trip to the United States. Also, for those high-performance athletes, when an important tournament is at stake for business reasons such as closing a contract or receiving training or simple to spend a vacation with the family. The first step to apply for this document is fill out the online form. It's important to note that most of this process is done online and through messaging. The DS-160 it's a form where you must include the main information about yourself, such as your name, your photo, your age, your profession, your residence, the places you will visit, and the reasons for your travel. Then, you should schedule your appointment on the embassy's website and pay $190 fee at the designated bank. After scheduling your appointment, you should wait about two or three months for your interview, but times may vary a lot depending on the reason for your travel and because COVID-19 pandemic. During this time, you must gather the necessary documentation. The first thing is to print out the confirmation of your completed form and the confirmation of your appointment. Then you must process your passport. If you have already one, verify that it's valid for at least six months after the date of your interview. As additional information, it's recommended that you bring to your interview appointment the status of your bank accounts, real estate titles, document of your company if you have one, and vehicle titles in your name. Once you have all the documentation, it's time to go to your appointment. But wait, are you sure you are ready? The interview is all that separates us from our long-awaited trip. That is why it's important to be mentally prepared. Try to control your nerves. Relax. Remember that if you are nervous, the consular officer may think that the reasons for your travel are not legal or your information not true. Also, you must be punctual. Don't be late for any reason. And answer accurately. A wrong answer or a lie are synonymous with immediate rejection. In summary, punctuality, honesty, and good organization are also requirements to obtain the visa. The North American Tourist Visa is a very dream of travel document. To obtain it, 
you must follow the steps which are fill out the online form, pay for your request, gather the necessary documentation, and prepare as much as possible for your interview. If you follow these steps correctly, you will have a great advantage before your interview. With a little luck, you will surely get approved and you will be one of the lucky Salvadorians who can travel to the United States of America. See you there!